I hate Nuzlocke now. I hate them with a passion. Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here, and welcome back to Proud Eyes Nuzlocke version. Proud Eyes version Nuzlocke, whatever. Pokemon Proud Eyes. Last time, we got to Celadon, we evolved a bunch of Pokemon, got a bunch of stones, got a bunch of this, that, and the other thing. I went, and then I said, I'll go off camera and I will grind up and I will do my research. Well, the Eevee we got, turns out it would be better to evolve it faster to get Flareon. I'm going to be inserting this over top of all this and so I can kind of recap what happened. And I figured I would put away Polly because having a Flareon would be much more pro profitable than to have something that randomly has one fighting move on it. Along with, along with Screech on the side there. So I took the Flareon out to have it level up and it got to a point where it was starting to take on things on its own. And I found out that in the route, in the route to the left, that you're going to see on screen and I'm in the little background there, you're going to see moving objects. That's me heading over there. Over in the grass that I was initially training in, <clears throat> it was very quick, but there was a very dangerous Scyther over here that knows Slash. One hit from a Scyther pretty much decimated the Flareon and got rid of it instantaneously. So we are now down Charlotte. But that's okay. I used my encounter. I I went to the game corner and grinded up a bunch of money really quick, and got my and got my, and used my encounter for Celadon to get myself a Charmander. And I was starting to get that up. Got it up to Char Charmeleon, a couple of levels away from coming to Charizard, and the same Scyther showed up, and also one shot the Charmeleon. So we're out of Charmeleon. It's like okay. It's the curse of Polly. Polly must be in the party, apparently, for things to work. So I brought brought back in, and it kept training again. As I was training with, um, well, his name's right on the screen. As I was out here training with Screech, he also met the Scyther. He also got crit to death. So. So I kind of tried exploring my options at that point, trying to find new places to level up. Found a location which I'm going to, which you're going to see me moving to now. Is oh, I should mention before we. Well, I'm gonna have to find the clip and put it in anyway. But while grinding in the in the west, spark it was like sparks heaven right over there i taught a thunderbolt and i and it was over there and it went to town and it got to my level that i wanted to set instantly evolved and it evolved and everything's hunky dory with spark nidorina i misjudged levels so i could so i could have evolved it earlier but nidorina finally is now a nido queen i also took terry out and grinded it up so now we also have a Firo. As you will see here, now that we're back to this screen, is that we have we have Spark the Magneton. By the way, I up my level limit to level 42, and he it learned Thunder Wave. By the way, oops, I wanted your stats, not you for you fly. I taught Terry fly, and at this point, Terry knows pretty much every single move it's gonna know. And unfortunately, I'm kind of stuck with this move set unless I get some TMs out there, like Tri Attack. Maybe you can learn Tri Attack. Nina. I did research, and there's like, basically all the moves that I want to teach to, to Nina is going to be later on down the line, so I'm going to have to wait until a point where I can get a certain TM from a, cert, from a certain fire user in the game and teach it that, or I'm, and I'm also going to replace Bite with the Strength move later, which we'll, I'll tell you about when we get there, and also I'm going to replace Growl with Surf, which we'll get at later. Polly. We'll probably also be getting the move Surf when we get to that point, but it learned... Well, it I pretty much taught it Submission. That's pr that's all I did. Submission, I forgot about that. this move. It's a fighting move that doesn't do... That actually, it's... Uh, I was thinking Seismic Toss, that it does damage equal to your level. No, Submission is a move that does a good chunk of damage for a fighting type move. But you deal damage to yourself in the process of do using it. So it's a very dangerous move for me to try using. Misha learned nothing of importance. Well, it learned water. It learned a uh, hydro pump. So I replaced. Um, 
I replaced Tackle with Hydro Pump just so we can have a Howitzer move. And Onion Baby tried cutting itself again. But no, Onion Baby um, pretty much learned nothing new. And I think it's going to be like this for its moveset for quite some time. It might, uh, until later on where it can learn Solar Beam. But even then, I probably won't teach it Solar Beam. What I will probably do is teach, well, I probably will do to round out its moveset is to get rid of Razor Leaf and give it a move that's going to be coming up here af from the next gym leader. Okay, I've gone through my notes. <laughs> now with all that hullabaloo aside, you're caught up on everything that's happened. Let's go to the gym. Grinding up to level 42 hopefully has made it so I will not be terrified of my imminent demise that will be just around the corner. So Celadon City Gym. It's a gym full of ladies. Proper ladies, if you will. <laughs> These gyms, it's great for women. Alright, Master Oshi, calm yourself. But he's not lying. This gym is full of nothing but women. Now, if you're playing and you're just trying to get to the end, you could go along the side here, one of the two sides here, fight these, fight one of the two trainers on either side here, cut down a tree inside, fight one trainer, and then fight Erica herself. But, because I'm after experience, I'm probably going to fight every single trainer. Okay, uh, I suppose I'm back for a little bit here, but we're going to take this opportunity to show off Fly really quick, because we can fly right back to the city we're in if we need to go somewhere. But Fly will take you to the Pokemon Center of the city you want to go to. So, here I am in front of the Pokemon Center, and I only lose one HP to get here. Ta-da! Look at me smart on the floor. Everybody get up, get on the floor. Everybody walk the awkward plant but dinosaur. It's a Venusaur joke. We're all with that. So, yeah. I... I guess this is the frustration. In, in hindsight, I'm thinking about the frustration of a Nuzlocke. And I guess this kind of comes with it, you know. You work so hard in a Pokemon, you got it right up to the point where it's going to be able to handle itself. And then all of a sudden, someone's just like, no, crit. Dude, not cool. Don't care. It's fun. So yeah, I got two. I had two fire Pokemon lined up, and they're now currently just gone. <laughs> so my only defense against <laughs> grass types is the bird that knows three moves. Great.
Oh, God damn it, Terry. You're taking everybody's glory. So, I probably should have popped my head in the gym and see what level all these ladies were going to be. Because I could have taken on this gym long ago before I started grinding. Now, it's just a slaughter. Anyway, let's go ahead and go up to Erica here and challenge her. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you had wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Ah, uh, well, Erica. See, here's the thing. Unless you're about to throw out your... You're about to start this battle with level 42 Vileplume, I'm ahead of you. There's your vile plume that I knew you had. 38. Okay. No, I'm not super over leveled. I guess, I guess the people who made this mod focus primarily on what is it? They focused 90 percent on the gym leaders when it came to rebalancing. So I grinded a little bit over, but not too terribly much. Parasect. So the move flying battle. I should do this because parasect is a walking joke. The move flying. That's 39. I'm actually frightened by what her last Pokemon will be. The move Fly in battle, how it works is the first turn you will spend it invisible effectively. Unless the Pokemon has a move, basically has the move Swift in this generation, they cannot hit you. Um, that's bad. Didn't crit. So you spend the first turn basically unable to be struck down. The second turn you come down and do, do, do your damage. And it's like an 80 power move. So it's pretty decent in power. In later in later games, and with certain other moves in the game series, it's not as good to do this kind of s setup. Because a Pokemon can just do, do a, a similar move where they disappear for one turn and then they come back, especially if they're slower than you. And I got a level just off those two Pokemon. Anyway. Executor. Well... What is it? It's 40. Wow, I actually didn't go too... I didn't go too overboard. I'm I'm happy. Granted, Drill Pack is... Oh, Drill Pack didn't kill it. Oh, you poor delusional girl. You think that's going to save him? Anyway, there's Executor down. Harumph defeated Erica. <laughs> you are remarkably strong. I must confer... To, the, to you, the Rainbow Badge. Rainbow Badge, get baby! Rainbow Badge makes Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. Receive TN21. That should be Giga Drain. Mega Drain. Close enough. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. And guess what I'm doing with that? I'm teaching it to Onion Baby immediately. Now watch. I was about to say, now watch uh, Nina be able to learn. Okay, Onion Baby. You're going to get a move better than Razor Leaf. Don't squander this for me. And unless we get Giga Drain at some point, I hate to say it, but this is Onion Baby's final move set. More than likely. Alright. Well, we took care of the gym, and quite handily at that. But now there's the, pro there's the issue coming up of the fact that we can't progress forward because we need a Sylph Scope. Because that's really the only thing we've been told we can use to progress forward in the Pokemon Tower. Yes, I know I'm being a little, I'm being a little uh, coy with what, how this here, but so next time on Pokemon Proud Eyes version, we we're gonna go address our gambling problem a little bit hev hev heavily. Actually, I could have just skipped it by <laughs> gambling too. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.